Good morning guys, what's going on? I am actually doing something we haven't done in a very long time. We're gonna do some planer fishing today. I got Victor on the boat, he's putting out the first line. I got my dad driving over there. And the sun's just coming up now. It's flat, it's glassy, it's gonna be a beautiful day on the water. Got hit. Brooks' top rod just got hit. This the rod with my feather just got hit. Oh, we're on. It's a bonita. You want to keep it, right? Yeah. First fish of the day is this bonita which we will use as bait today. Basically we troll in a zigzag formation in and out. Once we figure out where the fish are, where we're getting bites or where we're catching fish, we try to minimize our zigzags and go closer to that area. So right now we've caught two fish in 110. So we're kind of just zigzagging in between like 180 and then out to like 150 and just staying in that area to hopefully maximize the amount of bites we get. All right guys, so Brooke just caught a little king and now this rod got hit. This is the far bait with the strip on it. And I'm talking real far. That thing's probably 300 feet back there. Alright, this one will be a keeper. We'll put them right into the boat. Kingfish number go. one! That is a keeper size too. It's on the blue and white sea witch with the squid on top and the strip. So yeah, perfect eating size right here. So like I was saying about the depth, when we find the fish, we try to stay around there. We caught that one in 110 feet. Right, Dad? Yeah, that was 107. We, um, I've, I've been trying to stay closer to the 110 area now, so we got three bites there in a row. Okay. Basically, in all my videos, you'll see Victor wearing this. Yes. Or me wearing it like this on my neck or on my face or I almost always wear a headband to keep my hair out of my face. So my friends over at Southern Fin are doing a deal right now where you can get one of these for free. All you have to do is pay for the shipping and Victor absolutely hates wearing sunscreen so he always wears one, right Vic? I'll tell you guys something. I will sit out here all day and we fish out here in the bright sun. I will not put on an ounce of sunscreen. I hate the way sunscreen makes my skin feel and everything and you just get all oily. You guys, if you've ever seen me in Brooks videos, I always have a buff on. Always, always, always. You go like this, you don't get sunburn. I'd much rather have this on and not get sunburned. It feels good, it keeps you cool. But anyways, if you guys are interested in that, they also have shirts and hats and shorts and stuff. I'm gonna have the link to these down in the description so you guys can check them out. All right, we got another one on. This planner just popped. Again, not giant, but I think bigger than the first one I caught. Reeling it like this is honestly so much easier than if I were trying to reel it standing up. This planer puts on so much drag, and then once you get the planer to the tip of the reel, I mean to the tip of the rod, you have to hand line it. There it is, it just popped up. Thing. Little thing. Yeah, but it might be a keeper king. Ah, Looks like they're running small today. Small. 
barracuda. It's a little barracuda. He's out of the line now, isn't he? Yeah. Woo, he's chubby. Yeah, he's got a full belly. That thing's been eating good. Look at those teeth. Perfect hook in the bottom of the mouth. Well, be careful. You slice your foot open. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Brooke well, was gonna tell you guys a little bit about barracudas, but I guess you'll have well, to Well, I was gonna release them anyways, but they, there used to be no regulation on those, and you would catch them all the time in big ones. And then they recently just put a regulation on them, actually a slot size on them. I don't remember the exact details, but I'll put it right here on the screen. This looks like it's got a little baby banana on it. A bullet, Vic. A what? A little bullet bonita. We're gonna keep these and make strips out of them so that we can have more baits for planers. Check this thing out. It barely has any feathers left on it, yet we're still catching fish on it. We just went over the reef and got a nice mutton. Just kidding. It's probably another bonita. Oh, you got a mac. You got a big cereal. Flip them in. Flip them in, flip them in. Big cereal. Woo that thing's fat. But we've been catching king mackerels, and this is a cereal mackerel. These are really, really good eating. They have super white meat, and these do not have a size limit. I think they have to be over 12 inches. They're unregulated. No, that's a Spanish mackerel. This is my third fish on this little tiny feather that barely has any feathers left. That's crazy. What are you doing? So we were running the beach because my buddy Mike told us that there was mackerel on the beach and we just have these little white jigs, these bucktail jigs, and we're casting them around. We saw some mackerel, some houndfish, a ton of ballyhoo, and I don't know what the heck I just hooked, but it's putting up a pretty good fight on the little gear. I don't know, it might be foul hooked. It could just be a mackerel that's foul hooked. Yeah, a good sized Spanish mackerel. Alright. Yeah, good sized Spanish. On the beach. Yeah, that's a nice Spanish. Uh huh. Mackerel. Mackerel. Alright, let's go get him. Oh no, ladyfish. Oh, spit it right there. Let's go get him. Here we go. What's it gonna be? I'm pretty sure it's a mackerel. There she is. It's a nice big blue runner. Thought it was going to be a mackerel. Definitely not a mackerel. Whoa, baby. Relax. You hear, you hear that? Adios. We are catching a lot of toothy critters today. Look at those teeth. So we are back home and we caught three different species of mackerel today. There's actually one more that's common to Florida, which is a wahoo, which was what we would have loved to have caught, but we didn't catch. So because I have all three, I'm going to show you the differences so you guys can tell the difference between all of them. Spanish mackerels have these yellow dots down their body, which Sierra mackerels also have yellow on them, but they have this profound yellow stripe down them. And then they're also a lot broader than the Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerels are a lot skinnier than the Sierra mackerel. And then for the kingfish, they also have spots on them when they're smaller, when they're juveniles. Like that first one that we caught that was too small, it had a bunch of spots on it. But the kingfish have this lateral line that goes that goes down them and then has a giant dip right here once you get to the dorsal fin. Whereas the other ones, this one has a little tiny dip and the Spanish mackerel has a little tiny dip but compared to the kingfish, the dip is a lot more profound and greater. I'm going to cook up all three of these tonight. I'm gonna to cook them all exactly the same and then we're gonna taste them to see if we can tell the difference between all three of them. But I'm gonna fillet them now and then I'm gonna show you guys the fillets to see if we can see a difference in them. All right, so I just finished filleting up all three and honestly, I am very surprised with the way these look. Check it out. 
This is the kingfish. This is the Ciro, and this is the Spanish. Honestly, they look almost exactly the same to me. The bloodline, I think, is even smaller in the kingfish than the other two. They look the exactly color, the same. The meat color looks exactly the same. Flip them over. If I didn't tell you that these were three different fish, you probably would have no idea. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. All I'm gonna do is cut the bloodlines out of these and then I will meet you guys back in the kitchen. Okay, so before I show you the fillets between the kingfish, the, ma the Spanish mackerel, and the Ciro mackerel, which one do you think the meat-wise would look the best? I think the Ciro mackerel is going to be the whitest. And do you think there is going to be a big noticeable difference between all of them? I think, um, yeah, I, I think you should be able to tell the difference by looking at the fillets before they're cooked. Okay, you want to see? Yeah. Look. Oh my gosh, they're... If I didn't tell you that those are three different fish, would you be able to tell? One way to tell is the kingfish was the bigger fish of the three. <laughs> the meat looks looks very similar. Right. But I know this is the kingfish, this is the Spanish, and that's the Ciro. Nope, just the opposite. <laughs> this is the Spanish and that's the Ciro. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Alright guys, I want you to comment down below what fish you thought was going to look better, what you thought was going to taste the best, whatever. Comment that down below, either the Spanish, the Ciro, or the Kingfish. I'm curious to what you guys think. I thought it was going to be the Ciro macro. I thought there was gonna be a big difference and the Ciro was gonna be a lot whiter. I'm pretty sure even when I caught it, I was like, oh, Ciro mackerels, they taste so good. These are really, really good eating. They have super white meat, but the fillets look exactly the same, but whatever. All right guys, so welcome back to the kitchen. So I've been up since 5.30, so I'm not gonna do something elaborate for dinner. I'm just going to do nice, simple fried fish. I'm gonna start out by cutting them in half, and then I'm gonna get to breading them. All right, so I have Vic helping me bread the fish. We're dipping our pieces of fish into egg and a little bit of milk, and then into breadcrumbs, which I love just Italian breadcrumbs. And we're keeping these all separated so we know what we're eating when we eat them. And I'm gonna do them batch by batch. And we have the spinach, the Ciro, and then these are the kingfish. Keeping it nice and organized. I have some oil in this pan and it's nice and hot and I'm going to start frying up the first batch which is the spinach. With my fried fish, I'm going to serve it with two dipping sauces, which I think we've been making this for as long as I can re remember. And then if you go to the Bahamas, they actually make one of these and they call it fancy sauce. But all it is is ketchup and mayonnaise for one. Half parts ketchup, half part mayo. And in the Bahamas, they serve it with cracked conch and they call it fancy sauce. So that's just all the ingredients to your fancy sauce. For your other sauce, which my dad really likes this one, this is his favorite, is mustard, mayonnaise, and a nice clump of horseradish. Gives it a nice little kick. Got that nice golden brown. This is the Ciro going in. All right, this batch is not as brown as the first batch. I probably let the first batch cook a little too long when I was showing you guys my fancy sauce. <laughs> but that's okay, they'll still be good. But that's cooking, not everything's perfect. So here's that last batch of kingfish. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to tell you what you're getting. Oh, I get it. And then you're just gonna see if you like one better than another. Yeah, yeah. This is kingfish first. Man, my mouth's watering just looking at it. So is this whole plate kingfish? Yes. Oh, it is. You see the little label that says kingfish on it? That is one fish? Is all that fish? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That's a lot of fish for one little kingfish. Yeah. Now this is Ciro. Oh, look at this. Nice piece of Ciro. I guess Ooh. I should put it on the same side of everyone's plates. So the king's on the right, Ciro's on the left. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god, there's more. Yep. And this is. And then uh, this is mackerel. Mac. This is. This uh, is the Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel is the top. And you're going to choose what you think tastes the best. Okay. Can you see okay. Yeah. They're all good. Okay. I mean, this is such a a, a tricky taste tester because they're so similar. I would say I like the the Spanish the least, and I haven't decided yet between the Ciro and the King. They're both really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a little bit more before <laughs> I decide between the Ciro and the King. Gabby, you said you like the Ciro better. I like right? the Ciro better. Yeah. Mike, you have an opinion yet? They all taste the same to me. The texture I like the most is the Kingfish because it's just maybe it's just because it's a thicker fillet. It's it's not too flaky. It's it's got more. It's firmer. I feel like we're all going to have a little bit different opinions for this, but I have to agree with my dad. I think the Spanish was my least favorite. Between the Ciro and the Kingfish, they kind of taste very similar, but like Victor was saying earlier, Kingfish he thought was going to be oilier, which I think it was, so I think it has a little more flavor than the Ciro. And then the Spanish was probably my least favorite, only because it kind of has like a little bit of a fishy flavor. Which some people like that, like Victor likes a little bit of a fishy flavor. Mm -hmm. Chris, you got an opinion down there yet? <laughs> I heard you say that you thought they all kind of tasted the same. They all <laughs> taste the same, and I try to come up with which one's my favorite, and I've switched between the three. I think they're way too similar for me to to pick one over the other. All right, Mom. <laughs> this one here. Yep, zero. Zero. This one second. King. This one third. Spanish. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty uniform between that the is. Yeah. And yeah, you know, yeah, And you know what? I'm having a hard time between the Ciro and the King, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with both of them and say Ciro, King, then Spanish. Well, I think it was unanimous that we all thought the Spanish was our least favorite, which they were all great, but I think the Spanish was at the bottom of the totem pole, and then the Kingfish and the Ciro were near the top. But it was a great day and a really good meal. Dad, what'd you think? Well, I think today was uh, really a perfect day. It, we started out early, around six o'clock, or 6.30 rather, and uh, the ocean was beautiful. We came back with um, those three mackerels, which was really the perfect amount of fish. We ate all three mackerels today. We didn't need a giant cooler full of fish. It was really the perfect catch for the day. It, it fed us all and I had a great time. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Wow, mom, I didn't even notice your haircut. Everybody look at my mom. Wow, look at that haircut. Those bangs. Wow, mom. Looks good. <laughs> okay. Um,